In a seemingly more and more disconnected world, one family has managed to prioritize each other through a mutual passion and share that passion with the community. You may have eaten there before. I spoke to the faces behind Rib Mountain's restaurant Carmelo's about their restaurant's generational history. A dream that's been cooking for years. In 1986, Joan and Carmelo Oliva opened their restaurant stores for the very first time. Carmelo was my husband. A good friend to a lot of people. Just like a great guy. He liked to have a good time. He would like to have a cocktail afterward. Carmelo's dream went far beyond cocktails and food. He was very family oriented. They just wanted something where all of us could be together. That was the reason we started the business, so the family would be together working. We were every day, you know. When you walk through the front door, you'll see hanging on the wall this photo of their family making that dream possible. Joan and Carmelo, eight children, their spouses, and many grandchildren. But we got more since of then. One big family still carrying on the legacy. So you're working with your own family. So it's, it's just a, it's a different, but it's, it, it works for us. It worked. We all had our little niche that we went into. I was in the kitchen. Peg did bartending and hostessing, and uh, they worked it. He worked in the kitchen and hosting, and my mother was a hostess for years. It's now down to the fourth generation. And so now my grandson it is working here. <laughs> Carmelo's restaurant remains the glue that bonds this family. This is like a second home. It's fun. It's a fun atmosphere to be here. We've grown up here. We were all born and raised in Wausau. And uh, in fact, uh, half of us still live in the town of Rib Mountain. I started working here when I was 14 years old. And so that's many, many years. And uh, we've gotten kids uh, you know, that came in, got married, had a baby. Now the babies are growing up got through college. They're having babies now. It's just, you know, and they come here. Passing many milestones. Happy birthday to you. A lot's changed since Peggy Oliva began working here in her teen years, like a remodel of the dining room and bar area. We didn't do a lot of advertising. We got started by word of mouth, and it just kept growing. The menu has also grown, but kitchen manager Nelson Dries says the original recipes remain the highlight. Most of our recipes are still from Carmi and Joni, the original owners. The, the red sauce is still what we've made for 35 years. I mean, the meatballs, a, a lot of our recipes are all passed down from the first generation. Like veal. A lot of places don't carry veal on their menus anymore because it's kind of unpopular, but we still do. It's been on our, our, our menu for 30-something years. Serving up the recipe for success for generations. Treat people with respect. You serve good food and keep them wanting to come back for more. And most importantly... The cool people. The people. Reporting in Rib Mountain, Hannah Borkert, News Channel 7.